Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2021 video tutorial. I want to do that spiral staircase exercise in AutoCAD. It's another remake. And I've got two versions, one with a path array, or let's say a pattern along a path. And there a more, let's say, traditional approach. I made a whole lot of steps and then selected only the ones I wanted to keep because there is a small problem with the path array because AutoCAD doesn't pattern those steps exactly which means if I delete that cylinder in the middle you will see those steps do not align properly there should be no gap in the middle and if you take a look at the second one if I delete there, this in the middle, you see there is no gap if you view from top or bottom. So that's exactly. So depends on what you want to achieve. You could use both of those approaches. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Let's start with the path array. So let's go to a different layer. That would be the sketches layer. Okay. And go to top view. Let's draw a circle. Radius 100 at 0, 0. Then I need a line which starts at 0, 0 and then go straight into this direction. Then I need another line which starts at 0, 0. Length doesn't really matter, but the angle should be 20 degrees. So like this. Let's go for the trim. Let's see if it's on the quick mode or not. Trim. Let's see. No, it's not on quick trim, so let's go for mode. Go for quick. And then after restarting that command, you should be able to trim these. And somehow it's not possible if you start with the uh, ACAD, ACAD 3D template. So let's go for the traditional one. Right click mode, go for standard, select those elements, which is not possible. You have to restart. This should be a tool. And I want to remove this element and that element. And of course, this one. So repeat the command. Use those two as tool. Right click and remove this part. This should be a uh, Polyline, so I'll go for P edit, select that one, convert it to a polyline, and then just join these elements, enter, enter, and this should be a polyline. Yes, it is. And now I can make an extrude. So go for a different layer. Let's go for this layer and make an extrude with that polyline and this should be 20 millimeter okay now I could already copy this one because I need this one again so I go for copy And let's move it in this direction, maybe 500. Okay. Now I need a helix. Where to find the helix should be in the extended area here. Go for the helix. It should start at zero, zero. Then I want to go for a base radius of 100. The top radius should be 100 as well. 
and that doesn't really matter, I will change it afterwards. Let's put this onto a different layer, on the sketches layer, go for the properties and I want to have one turn and the height should be, I want to go for 18 steps so it should be around 360 or 340. We will see, let's go for 360. And OK. And now I can do a path array. OK, so let's go for the path array that's up here. Select the stair step, right click and select the curve. And depending on the position where you click, you will get it in this direction or that direction. So click it at the lower end. So it goes up and it should be divided in n and I need 18 instances and this looks OK and confirm. So you see you've got, if you look from the top, it's with a gap here and it's not really correctly aligned on the outside as well. And then I could add a cylinder there to hide that irregularity. So if you go for a cylinder, base point zero zero, radius maybe 20, and then make it up to that point here like this, you can hide that irregularity. OK. For the second option, I do it in a different way. I will make a polar array. So go for polar array. I want to select this step here, right click. The center point would be this vertex here and I need 18 and that would make 18 pieces and confirm. And you should not do it as associative pattern, but you can explode it afterwards. So if I go for modify explode like this, I have all the single solids here. And now I want to make a rectangular pattern in that direction. So go for rectangular array, select all those solids, right click, and it should go in set direction in this case. So it would be one, one, and this would be 18 and the distance in between is of course 20. Like this and don't make it associative, make it just close array. It will take a while and I've got a whole lot of steps here. Now I want to select 18 steps and hide or delete the rest. Let's start maybe here, select this one, select that one, next one, next one, next one, next one, I 
don't want this so that's the next one this one that one this one that one like that okay come on okay no deselect this one and select that one okay and deselect this okay now it's okay and i can hide those select all the others and move them to a different layer or just delete them then and isolation and i've got my second now correct stairway and again i could add a cylinder which should start at this vertex here radius maybe 20 and then it should go up to this point here and confirm so hope this was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page it would be very nice of you because i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye